Hi there, 7.50, 10 before 8 o'clock. Nick Gale is at Soldier Field. We'll check in with Nick here during John Dempsey's newscast. The rally's set to begin. The parade's set to begin. Great day here in Chicago. There are serious things to talk about and think about. With that in mind, the president stunned a lot of us when he said, uh, gosh, uh, he said it a year ago, and then he reiterated it recently. As far as uh, combating ISIS, I, I don't really have a strategy. Really, I think it's more the fault of the Iraqis and maybe even our Pentagon. Next question. And there's an old saying, fake it until you make it. Even in the chaos that is ISIS, I would think it's a pretty good idea to produce some sort of somewhat completed, somewhat detailed, and somewhat realistic plan to confront these lunatics. With that in mind, Senator Dan Coates, our friend from Indiana, uh, offered up the same on the floor of the Senate. I caught it on C-SPAN, and I thought he would uh, take a moment to explain himself here on 89 Double Dales. Good morning, Senator. How are you, sir? Good morning. Just fine. I had a good weekend in Chicago last week, and uh, it's fun to be in your town, but uh, um, it's in the middle of a lot of rain, just like Indiana is, so we were looking for sunshine. I know. As a Wheaton College graduate and a Cub fan, you'll be back soon enough. I will be. So uh, I I caught you on C-SPAN saying, look, Mr. President, you are the leader of the free world. You're the commander-in-chief. Come on, give us something, and now you're demanding it. Well, that's what I did. It's what I did say on the floor of the Senate yesterday. The president keeps saying, uh, "This is our this is our goal, uh, and this is our strategy." But the strategy never achieves the goal. So, the latest iteration of all this was: uh, we need to maybe rethink a new strategy for about this third or fourth or fifth time now in dealing with ISIS. All you have to do is turn on your TV or listen to your radio uh, and realize that ISIS is a force that it continues to expand despite what the president's strategy tries to do and so it's time for a rethink and congress uh, needs to know what the president's thinking because we are not winning this war well i think it's really important for you to apply the heat uh keep his feet to the fire so to speak and i know along with your colleagues especially john mccain and even lindsey graham are asking for much of the same thing at least give us an idea of where we're going to go from here we can't just say uh we don't know well, that's right. I mean, no one is calling for an invasion back, uh, massive troops uh, into the Middle East. What we are saying is that let's let's define what the strategy is that will achieve the goal that the president has set, and that simply hasn't been done. I don't have the perfect answer to all this, but all I know is is that what we're doing now is not working. I wondered if you had seen, not to uh, pivot too heavily and hard on you this morning, but I know you have a, 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 a business meeting or a meeting uh, at the top of the hour. Did you catch your colleague, Senator Bill Nelson, completing his 46 uh, push-ups for our Senator Dick Durbin? <laughs> I didn't catch that. I was advised of it. Uh... I do push-ups every day. Uh, I just got to be honest with you. My goal is, well, I I do 25. They're legitimate. They're not the fake push-ups. They're all the way down and all the way back. Uh, We're going to have to see a video, Senator. I'm sorry. (laughs) You mean to prove that you want a video? I don't know if I have to. I you know like uh, Dick Durbin. Uh, with all of his years of service, uh, politics set aside, I, I think he's pretty lucky that the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup because Senator Nelson, Democrat of Florida, had the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning won. Uh, Senator Durbin would have had to have done at least 23 push-ups. Now, Bill Nelson, former astronaut, went ahead and did 46, but I'm not sure uh, Dick Durbin has 23 in those uh, sh- shoulders and arms at this point either. I'm going to check Dick out. Uh, he works out early every morning in the Senate gym. I give him credit for that. I'd usually do it late in the afternoon just to revive my uh, arteries for uh, yeah, a lot of stress. Late nights, a lot of stress. nights in the Senate and stress and so forth. But in any event, um, I think there are a bunch of us old guys up here trying desperately to stay in shape and uh, pretend like uh, we're young. Well, I admire your efforts uh, regarding ISIS. I admire the fact that you do 25 push-ups. I admire the fact that you uh, try to keep your stress level down because you're a a lifelong Cub fan, although they had a great day yesterday. But uh, thank you for your time, Senator. I know you have to scoot this morning, but we'll have you back soon. Uh, I appreciate talking to you. Thanks so much. Take care. There's Senator Dan Coates of Indiana joining us here on 89 WLS. And here is uh, Senator.